This is my H550 hex, my very first hex. And I'm going to pull this apart and build up onto a different hex frame with the slightly upturned arms and the spider landing legs. So I took this out last night and got a bit aggressive and uh, it didn't go well. Anyway, plans are in motion anyway, so might as well start pulling it apart. So my f 550s stripped down. Got the, uh, got the motors. 28, 36, 1100 kV. Very nice little motor. The uh, 40 amp plush ESCs. Very nice ESC. Bit of overkill for those motors, but anyway. And I'm now going to build it up onto this hex frame. Same as the, uh, the S500 legs, but hexacopter format. Looking forward to this one. So firstly, I'll solder all the ESCs onto this plate. That'll be uh, our power back plane. There's uh, an extra spot there that I can do power for the controller as well, which is handy. Given that it you could use this for an octocopter if you needed to, but we've got uh, two spares. Could be handy. So the ESCs are on. The power pack for the NASA is using one of the spare slots, and I use a switch which goes off to a connector for my gimbal when I use it. So we just start putting the frame together. This kit has even come with really good motor mount screws as well which is a good thing because uh, I've been running pretty low on them so I won't go short on this there it is, it's an unusual unusual uh, top plate given that there's a big gap there so I've actually put the power distribution board at the top and I'll put another plate on top of that from maybe an SK450 or something like that. Which the controller can sit on above that and the bottom plate can just be uh, there are a few bits and pieces in there as well like the power supply for the, the NASA that uh, come right, together. So I've now attached the uh, XT60 power connector and the SK450 top plate on the top here. Get a mounting spot for the NASA and protect the whole wiring loom under there. So it's actually worked out quite nicely. Alright, so the last time this hex was flying, well these motors and these ESCs was flying, she nose dived well it was more of a belly flop, but it was at quite some pace, so I'm hoping nothing's damaged. So we'll see what happens when I turn it on. Alright, so here we go. Just plugged the KK in to test it out. Power it up. Hopefully, it'll all work. Yeah, sounds promising. Just set up the hex. Hexacopter X mode. Yes. Wish I could read those numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I haven't plugged them in in that order or anything. I'm just going to test to make sure that the motors actually actually work. So uh, now I've set up the hex. Well, arm. Arm. Oh, look at that. We have six working motors. I'm very happy. Mm, none damaged. ESC's all in good order. Alright. Let's put on the NASA. Plug things in. Get this thing flying. Here is the complete project. NASA's dialed in. It's got a receiver on the bottom. Battery mount installed, 40 amp plush, 1100 kV turnigy 28 
36s. We get to fly.